Okay, welcome back everybody. This is Eric Global again with VBA String.com and I'm talking about the VBA list box today. So on your screen, uh, once you open up, I'm going to show you how to do a, a VBA list box. On your screen, I uh, notice that I have all my sheet tabs. I'm using uh, Excel 2002 if you're using Excel, uh, anything above that. Um, like 2007 and above, you'll see the the ribbon on top, um, and it'll work the same way pretty much. So uh, the for the first sheet that you're gonna do, go ahead and do a data sheet. I always like to we're gonna store the the values for a list box on the data sheet, and uh, for this list box, I'm just gonna call it. Uh, they're just going to be some basic colors here, red, blue, yellow, green, uh, maybe brown. Okay, you may want to put people's names in there. Uh, we just want to have some data. And of course, yours are going to differ from mine. You're in a different situation. So, uh, so I have my data sheet, which has my data. It's separated from my regular sheet right here. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay. Anything above, you look for the little button that says uh, with the floppy disk on it. It's save. And uh, of course, floppy disks or the picture of saving things uh, on a three and a half floppy disk. So, not too long ago. Anyway, uh, so now what you want to do is you want to add a lid box. Uh, the way you do that is if you have access 2007 or I'm sorry Excel 2007 or above you go up here to the left and the left side you look for the Microsoft Office button and you'll click on that button and then at the bottom you'll see Excel options and you'll choose to show the developer toolbar for me I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, do the control toolbox here and I want to get out. I want to make. I, want to, I can move this around and the size I want it. And I want to get this here list box. There's a list box here and a combo box. Okay. And combo box generally allows you to select one thing. Look at it for the other video on the site, viewhstream.com, for an example of a combo box. And it allows you to select one value. The list box allows you to select multiple values. Okay, for the first example, we're just going to select the first one and then input the value that we selected in the in the cell A1. Now, once I go ahead and add this box, I go ahead and right click on it. I want to fill it up with some values. So I'm going to go ahead and choose properties and now uh, my my list fill range it's going to be again my data sheet okay data a1 to a5 now this the you know, name it correctly and i'm going to name it let's see where my at your list fill range okay data then then i have my exclamation point which is a bang so well this is object naming and I'm referencing, okay, it's kind of basic for this. So we do add the worksheet name, exclamation point, and then the cells, A1 to A5. Then we go ahead and notice how I have uh, my values already, they show up here. Then notice I also have the size of handle around this. I can scroll down or narrow down and then I have this little scroll box on the side and since I'm in design design mode still I have uh, no way of accessing the values in here if I click on it so I have to click on the little triangle to get out of design mode and then I can select the different items in my box now with the items, when I select an item, I want it to appear, I want to be able to access this select item. Here you could use the the GUI, the properties menu. Okay, it's called a linked cell. 
we could if with for one value we could have uh we, we really don't need VBA. We could just say link link cell is like cell A one. Okay. And then whatever value I select here shows up in, in here. You might want to analyze the contents of that. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with VBA. And we're going to put the, the value down here in A4. <clears throat> okay. Now to open the VBA window, or the VBA editor, uh, we press alternate key and a F11. Alternate key and F11. Okay, everybody. Now, once I have, I double clicked on top of the top of the command button to get my to get my value here. I'm going to make it, it easier by putting in a public sub, actually a private sub, and go ahead and look at the video on scope. Uh, to know it to differently public and private. I want to just be accessed by this module here, so I'm labeling it as private. So private select uh, select single single value, and I might want to put sub here. Notice that I don't have the end sub, so. I know I did something wrong with those. Now I got it. Because it doesn't recognize the template. And then, when I select this, at its easiest level, so my thing is going to be A4, and then equals LST colors, dot value whatever I selected in the box at that time so let's go back and test it to see what happened okay if I select activate yellow if I select activate blue if I select red bang red notice that this one is on one Responds quick, quicker because it's whenever I click the box here. It responds to the click event. Here I have to use the command button. Now we're going to go into multiple selected because uh, that is really here. You could just use a combo box, but for the real power of the of the list box, we'll go ahead and use the the multiple select. Now for the multiple select, we're going to go ahead and bring. Uh, right click on this box and we don't want to bring out our control toolbox again so if you don't see go ahead and reactivate it go ahead and reactivate bind and then I'm going to go back into design view on this one I'm going to size it to make it a little bit bigger <clears throat> right now excuse me right now I it, the way you you pick out more than one item is by holding down the control key while you select. Okay, right now when I hold down the control key, I'm selecting one item. The way that you select multiple items is by going into Design View and then changing one of the properties here. So we have properties, and then we change this from. Let's see, multi select, which is the we want to look for the multiple multi select property, and then FRM multi select single. We want to change that to multi select multi FRM multi select multi. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and see how that works. Now, if I hold down the control key, I can select more than one. When it's uh, now, word of note is that whenever an item is selected, it receives a true value. So you could test. Okay, green is now false. Green is green is now true. Green is now false. Green is now true. Okay, just uh, just a hint. What 
whatever's going on with it. So we want to be able to uh, go ahead and just list the items that were that were selected in our list. Maybe we want to evaluate the items that are selected in the list that uh, you, you have multiple items that you can select, multiple categories. You're maybe developing a um, a type of web application or an application, desktop application that allows you to select multiple areas that you're skilled in. So here's the list of your skills, select up to five and you want to process that. Okay, uh, we're going to go into here and rather than uh, respond to a click event, I want to go ahead and select or start another sub and we're going to call it multi select. So instead of selecting single value, selecting multi value. Oh man. Alrighty, multi value. That's not what I want. Multi value. And then uh, we're going to go up here. I'll ram out this. Okay. Now, what I need is first of all, I need a counter set with Salomon. So I'm going to dim int counter counter as integer dim it's your and then I want to have just a value as string okay now we're going to step through each of the selected items selected the selected items on on the screen here and if and test if an item is selected or not Also want to have a uh, a cell selector to know what cell I'm on. Oh, and, and this was going to be long because okay, the the rows go to sixty five thousand five thirty six on Excel two thousand and more than that on uh, like hundred thousand and more on uh, Excel two thousand seven and above. And so uh, you're going to have to have something that holds a little bit more. All right, go up past sixty-five thousand. So I'm gonna say long for yourselves, for your rows. You possibly don't need that, but just to be safe to avoid errors, we're just gonna go ahead and make it a long. So LG cell, and then I'm gonna step through the different items. So for int counter equals zero. Okay, I'm starting at zero because we're at a zero base. We don't want to run into errors with those. This is an array where we're stepping through each item starting with zero. Okay, and that's where the array starts. The first item is is indexed as zero. Two LSD colors dot list cows. Okay, want to add the total count of items in our list. And then we want to stop at whatever the count is minus one because we are zero base. And then make your template and we're just going to go ahead and do next. And then, and now we're going to test if the item is select or not. So if the item is selected, let's say if LSD colors. The item that is selected, and then notice that okay, we have to have index, and here's our index right here. So PV PVR bar PVRG index. <laughs> okay, if that item is selected, this this the uh, if if is if LSD colors not selected equals true, then we're going to do something. Okay, so I don't forget this. I set my set my my framework up here, and then I want to 
be able to list it in on the worksheet or be able to analyze each one. So I'm um, going to say range, we're just going to stick this somewhere. Range A and LNG cell. We're going to say that the the A column, column A, and the increment of LG cell, let me show you that in a moment, we're going to increment that equals whatever the value is, the current value. So LSD colors, we utilize the ester value. So it's your value equals LST colors and then whatever the uh, LST colors, whatever the value it, it should be it. and then I can deselect click again to unselect these options. So blue and yellow should be the ones that are that are on the screen. Now I select blue and brown, yellow, green, and brown, and activate, and then yellow, green, and brown shot. Red, blue, and yellow, bang, red, blue, and yellow. All right, now on the screen, I want to show you again. Okay, the code is real simple, real simple to use. Again, we're uh, just looping through our cells here, incrementing through, starting at zero. If it's selected, we're going to go ahead and save the value of whatever's selected, then insert the value. And this is a, this right here, range A, and then we're a range A1, range A2, range A2, 3, is the value. All right. So that is how you go about selecting analyzing values from a list box. So for more great tutorials, come to vbastring.com. Thanks.